Hey everybody, welcome back to Alleyways. I am here with my brother Hunter and my sister Courtney. Meredith uh, ditched us today and is at the lake. Like a nerd. Yeah. A real nerd. But we were gonna get together because the Disney Wish dropped all of their menus. They're available on Disney Cruise Line vlog. That's where we're reading them from. They also have great pictures. So I'll put the link to their website in the description box down below. But what we're gonna do is go through each menu by restaurant or what want as your daughter, my yes. our niece likes to call it, and then talk about items that are the same from other ships that we've seen and then place our order. Yes. And we encourage you guys to do the same in the comments down below. Yes. Ready? Ready. Very. Here we go. Okay, first what want <laughs> that we're gonna talk about is the one I personally am most excited about and that's 1923. Oh man. So 1923 yeah. is the year that the Walt Disney Animation studio was founded apparently and this restaurant is an ode to the, the art of animation and you know it's california roots so with that in mind here are the choices for appetizers uh oh, and i'm going to tough. butcher some pronunciations but just hang with me alameda porcini spiced ahi tuna pickled lotus root oyster mushroom sesame brittle wasabi and yuzu mayonnaise and that i think is on the the ahi tuna mm -hmm. oh, okay so that's the first option it's one of the so this is like the ahi tuna appetizer mm. so mm -hmm. somewhat similar to the avocado and ahi tuna tower but from yeah. enchanted garden yeah it, it's like slightly reminiscent of that yes but Honestly, it sounds like very uh, different too. They've got photos on the menu as well. Yes. Like a lot so, of the dishes. Yeah, I'm going to pull that up so we can look at them. And if you guys want to follow along in, a, in another window or tab, mm -hmm. you can. Um, the second appetizer is the Hyperion Four Cheese Tri Color Tortelloni with Meyer lemon, artichoke, mm. sun dried tomato, and baby spinach. Mm -hmm. They've got a really great uh, burrata with prosciutto and crisp cranberry and sunflower oh, seed phyllo and charred blood oh, orange. Man. This is also fancy. Yeah. And then the last appetizer option is Kingswell duck confit pastilla with dates, apricot, ginger, red pepper, saffron, black raspberry jam. So we're gonna look too at some of the photos just because mm -hmm. it kind of helps with visualizing what you would want. So the ahi yeah. tuna looks like it's sliced into steaks instead mm -hmm. of it being kind of finely diced like it was previously. Yeah. Or on a on a fantasy and one or fantasy and dream. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And the tortellini looks delicious. Mm -hmm. I love artichokes, so that would be a good one. But oh, I'm gonna have to go with the burrata. Yeah. I love burrata. What, what is burrata? I do too. It's, it's like, like a that, mozzarella, but okay. it is a little bit creamier and has like a nutty profile. I think it's like okay. a slightly less processed mozzarella if i'm not mistaken it's because it's a lot softer okay. and so that's what i had heard before but i might be wrong about that it's like mozzarella before it gets all the way to being mozzarella okay, it's yeah. delicious that, yeah. i think i'd probably go with the tuna oh that's I, a good choice it looks really pretty and that just sounds really nice yeah and I mean, usually kind of cold yeah, yeah that sounds awesome i i mean it kind of depends on my mood if it was a day if we had been at the island that day i might go for the tuna because it sounds like it's so lighter. chilled mm -hmm. and it's a little lighter and sometimes when you've been really really hot mm -hmm. something nice and cold and refreshing is good so depending on my mood i might go with that um but man, it, it, all of it actually sounds phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. None of us are too big on duck. Um, but you know what? If you are going to try, if you're going to branch out and try something new or something you've never tried before, this is the perfect place yeah. to do it because mm -hmm. it's going to be high quality. It's going to be good. well prepared and it's low risk. You don't yeah. like it, just order another. <laughs> and if you, if it's day one and I was going in, I might get the tortelloni, like mm -hmm. a pasta because yeah. I'm usually hungrier on day one. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. But here's the thing. You don't have to pick and choose. Just get whatever you want as many as you want. Yeah. Maybe we just get one of everything and pass it around yeah. and I'll yeah. try it. <laughs> probably the move here yes they also have salad and soup offerings so Ooh. for the salads they have fennel bartlett pear and tatsoi salad mm. with manchego cheese walnuts and sherry dressing or a split napa baby romaine lettuce with caesar dressing heirloom grape tomatoes um parmesan ciabatta garlic croutons oh yes that 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 one, that, that one for sure probably that I one for love me too but caesar the, salad. i do love fennel that first one reminds me of that 
hair in Gorgonzola. Yes, from so, oh yeah, Royal like, Palace. Royal Palace, I think that one yeah. was good. Mm -hmm. And then from the kettle, they have pulled Guinea hen corn chowder with Yukon gold potato, cilantro, and smoked bacon. That, that sounds, sounds awesome. Yeah, really or good. roasted Roma tomato. Tomato soup probably for me. Yes. As much yeah. as I love corn chowder, I I can't pass up a tomato I soup can't if either. I see one. All right, let's take a look. Oh wait. That's the Caesar salad. That's okay. Oh. The salad looks a lot like the wedge that we have seen in the past from Enchanted Garden. Mm -hmm. It does. Caesar and ciabatta croutons. I know Heck that yes. looks great. Yeah, uh, I did see another photo somewhere of the salad with the fennel, and it was gorgeous. The wedge is just so good, and yeah. I would have to get some tomato soup. Yeah, that's yeah. what do you think? Good. I'm I'm thinking I like that corn chowder actually. Mm -hmm. It sounds it really sounds good. good. Really good. Yeah, and then would you which salad would you pick mm, i'm going with the second i'm probably going with the the, with wedge. the wedge mm -hmm. yeah the bread service is fig and olive bread with honey butter dip oh that sounds, that sounds awesome that sounds so good and let me just tell you it is so hard to hold yourself back on the bread oh, service oh yeah. my goodness yes. they bake all the bread every day on the ship and it is just yeah. Fresh yeah. made in house, and it is so good. And they always have an interesting spread. I feel like mm -hmm. to go with it, and, and some that kind of good really dip. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So dip or spread something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, fig and olive bread. That never, sounds never really had that. Don't good. skip the yeah. bread. That's yeah. the long. Yes, at long least in the try a bite if you couldn't stop yourself. Yeah, bite. if you have more self control than us, especially. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so okay. Good. Entrees. Okay. This one is. This one is stacked. Yeah. I know this one is. When I looked at it over before, it was incredible sounding. Yes. Okay. Just so many so, good options. They've got a tortiglioni pasta with prosecco cream, pancetta, shallots, cremini mushrooms, and lemon thyme. And that was, when I looked at the picture, that was like a tube pasta. Mm, it okay. looked kind of like rigatoni. Okay. Mm -hmm. They have a seared verlasso salmon filet with Californian wild honey parsnip puree. Wow. Orange fennel essence, sauteed black garlic rapini. Rapini, I, we looked this yeah. up, it's like rockerob. Yeah. So <laughs> yum. Oh, Evangeline's getting upset. Another option is the Riverside Roasted Green Circle Chicken with leek rondels, Brussels sprouts, love Brussels sprouts, yeah. Yukon potato fondant, Honey crisp apple chutney, Ooh. Cabernet's uh, Sauvignon reduction. Man, <laughs> please be nice about my pronunciations. Italian flat parsley and rosemary crusted rack of lamb with some kind of potato, roasted petite turnip, carrot and zucchini, Zinfandel rosemary sauce, and last. 1923 peppered filet mignon with buttered long green beans wrapped in smoked bacon, crushed fingerling potato hash, and pink pepper yes. cafe au lait. We were noticing that at every menu they have a good like beef option, chicken option, seafood, pasta, and mm -hmm. maybe like lamb. Yeah. yeah. And then they also have vegetarian stuff that's really well put. Oh yeah, together. there's two vegetarian, vegetarian options. options. Look, re they really solid. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like maybe before or maybe previously the vegetarian options were a Not little bit more of an you. afterthought mm -hmm. in a way i i don't mean to be rude saying that but they just it wasn't anything like super exciting but the vegetarian options that i've seen on this menu are really tempting it's things that are a lot more unique yeah and it's like they have as much thought put into them as they do the like the non-vegetarian entree options what is okay so here's the vegetarian options Moroccan spiced roasted kabocha and butternut squash. Does anyone know what kabocha is? Mm -mm. Our vegetarians in the family let us know. And it comes with zaluk, garbanzo, cinnamon brown rice, couscous, cilantro, arugula, pita, and harissa dairy for yogurt. See, they really put some thought. Vista soft shell tacos, coconut oil quinoa, poblano, sweet bell pepper, salsa fresca, feta cheese, pickled red onions, and cashew cream. That, that sounds, sounds good. Incredible. They, yeah. A lighter notes option is the Los Feliz uh, lobster salad, baby bib, endive lettuce, avocado, jicama, celery, purple potato, tostones, black beans, grape tomatoes, cilantro, and lime. I bet that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yum. And that then, actually sounds good for a lighter option. I think mm -hmm. so too. And yeah. any night, any restaurant, they also have grilled sirloin steak, roasted breasted chicken, oven baked uh, filet of salmon, and an allergy menu. Mm -hmm. So there's an entire allergy menu that's huge. We, we won't 
have time to do it in this, but I will link to that as well. Um, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven options on the standard menu alone. That's what you can find. That's one thing that I love about Disney Cruise specifically is you can find something delicious and that I think anybody would like on any of the menus. And they're also extremely accommodating there. Mm -hmm. If you tell the um, your your server what your preferences are, it seems like the chef is always happy to prepare things to your specifications, which is really nice. Oh yeah, and if, so I love Brussels sprouts, but if it's with an entree that I don't wanna order as my entree, they will bring you a side mm -hmm. of that. If you see any side that you want paired with your entree, they'll yeah. do that. Well, yeah. that's it, cause uh, at Enchanted Garden, I always get the sea scallops, but I order it with the risotto that comes with the sea bass instead mm. of like the pearled barley and that's they it's, always they, they, they are always really to happy to accommodate yeah. Yeah, yeah which is really nice okay let's pick our entrees at 1923 i'm going with the filet yeah man although that salmon mm -hmm. sounds so good we might have to order one for the table if yeah if we'll do that yeah it, if it's a steak night i i usually do have one or two steak nights yeah. on the mm -hmm. cruise but if it's not a steak night, that chicken dish sounds really, the, really good. Yeah, the chicken, Riverside Roasted Green Circle Chicken sounds. Or the salmon. I think those That's, would probably yeah. be my next. Yeah. I think I would, I would get the filet, but I think we would have to get a salmon for the table to pass around because that yeah. sounded so good. Yeah. I'd also be really interested in seeing... Um, just getting a vegetarian option because there was one of the restaurants and we'll come across it of that the vegetarian option it was a but well, we'll, we'll get to it but I think we're, we'd have to order it for the table and pass it around Hunter and I were talking about it, it sounded amazing okay yeah. mm -hmm. let's look so next we're going to talk about oh dessert I'm sorry oh, dessert. skipping the most uh, important meal of the or important part of the meal excuse me yes okay desserts that. at 1923 also look amazing so they have the churros calientes sugar spice churros with mm -hmm. dulce de leche they have flourless orange almond cake with guava gel and I don't know how to say this lychee yogurt creme they have Atwater Fuji apple cheesecake with sweet dough shell Caramelized apples, cinnamon cheesecake, Ooh, and that old oak crumble. Good. Every restaurant has a signature sundae. This one is the Hollywood Hills hot chocolate fudge sundae with vanilla ice cream, fudge brownie bites, fresh whipped cream, and glazed cherries. Mm. And then they all have a signature dessert. The signature dessert is the Burbank Blueberry Lemon Bavarian Cream Ecuador with what? Ecuadorian vanilla bean, lemon rocks, dried raspberry meringue. And then each night there will also be a no sugar added dessert, which is coconut tapioca pudding with strawberry, lime salsa, and matcha crumble. Wow. Oh, fancy. Um, Man, I think I would have to get the churros. Or honestly, though, that apple cheesecake sounds really, really, really good, too. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. What's your choice? I think I would probably go with that blueberry lemon Bavarian mm -hmm. cream cake. I saw that. that and it looks gorgeous. Yeah. It comes in a little glass with kind of like a wooden lid. Mm. Ooh, beautiful. That sounds so nice. Yeah. I do love the way they plate things, too. I do. They put a lot of care into the dishes whenever they bring them out. You know, yeah. especially for when they're preparing food for so many people, you might think that they wouldn't pay that much attention to it, but they really do. They mm -hmm. take so much care into yeah. the, the prep. The presentation remains high, even yes. though it's high volume. It's the signature dessert. It's hard for me to pick. I think the move is churros for the table. Order two. Yeah, yeah. order two. Because even that Hollywood Hills Sunday sounds, this sounds amazing. So good. But yeah. I would have to try the signature dessert. The it, I saw it and it just looked. It, I don't know. It caught it caught my interest. Yeah. Um. I would not skip churros. It would be either churros and that or churros for the table and then the signature dessert mm -hmm, definitely man that sunday it's amazing too it's like it's a sunday but it sounds so good it sounds yeah. so good yes and they always are and they yeah. yes they are for yeah, sure Yeah, you're not gonna get something bad there yes okay arendelle is the next restaurant it's the frozen themed restaurant on the disney wish and it seems like you get a dinner show along with dinner mm -hmm. character interaction it's something that Evangeline, our niece, is going to love. And I know we'll enjoy it as well. 
So their menu features um, cuisine infused with Nordic influences. This, when I looked over this menu, it reminded me a lot of some of the things I've seen on the menu before at Akershus. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course that has, it's still not reopened, but for those of you who have been there or who have enjoyed that restaurant in the past, I think this is a bit reminiscent of that. Well, I'm not as familiar with Frozen. What is Arendelle? Arendelle is the like, fictitious kingdom that Elsa and Anna are the queens of. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So the appetizers, I'm, I am not gonna know how to pronounce these things, are Anna's cult board. So it kind of sounds like a cheese board. Hot smoked salmon, smoked fjord trout, horseradish lefse, salmon gravlax, sweet shrimp, dill honey mustard and crisp knacker brat they've got the lush sampler type of thing. yeah and lefse is like that that bread that's rolled very thin and flat that they put a filling on and then roll up oh. mm. uh-huh it's almost like a tortilla like a like tortilla yeah. roll except mm. it's it's a different type of bread okay. so mm -hmm. The second option is Blushing Oaken's Chilled White and Green Asparagus. Mom loves asparagus. Mm -hmm. yeah. It comes with peach and rolls, heirloom tomatoes, radish, and dill. The third option is Elsa's Royal Baked Scallops with shrimp, tarragon bisque, rainbow carrots, leeks, flaky Ooh, pastry. pastry. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then last is Jarlsberg cheese and rosemary ham tart. Oh, with, my goodness. Uh, uh, Gala, Gala apple and Williams pear compote. Uh, baked scallops, no question. Yeah, I probably have to go to entrees on this and go baked scallops and the These are cheese the and rosemary ham tart. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's how double solid apps. this is. Yeah, yes, double apps. Those, yeah. so those are the two scallops that took me and the most. tart. Those are the two. I, I think I would have to get the uh, Jarlsberg cheese and ham tart. That yeah. sounds really, really good. Mm. But man, that's solid. That is. That is. That's going to be a two app night. Yeah. Okay, next we have salads and soups. So the salads, there's the Nordic cucumber, potato, and carrot salad with baby oak leaf, Lala Rosa lettuce, and then there's the Troll Valley baby field greens with vanilla, apricots, brioche croutons, Ooh, candied walnuts, yeah. and lingonberry dressing. Yeah. That That's the one. That sounds I pretty really unique. I really like yeah. lingonberry, and it's super unusual to come across, and yeah. so... I love the idea of trying a lingonberry dressing and then brioche croutons. Come yeah, on. That's the brioche one. vanilla. Just is amazing. Super creative. I wonder yes. how the vanilla gets worked into the salad. I don't know, but mm -hmm. I would be curious to find out. Yeah, yeah, I'm curious about that too. If they like scrape some of the little seeds on it, yeah. maybe. I'm it's gonna be cool to see. Yeah, because yeah. they didn't say it was incorporated into the dressing. No. So I'm really curious. We'll update you guys when we see it. Mm -hmm. The soup options are Sven's favorite carrot soup with caraway and rye sippets, or split yellow pea soup with pulled ham hock and panna cakin. Um I would probably actually skip, skip the soup. soups and just the the appetizers sound so good mm -hmm. that and if salad. I if I felt inclined then I went pick if, Instead of getting a soup, yeah, do if you had two to apps one, and a salad. If you had to pick one, though, which one of those do you go with? Do you think the carrot soup or the pea soup? You do peas. You love peas. But it's split pea. Oh, okay. And that one I don't care for quite as okay. much. Yeah. I would and try I, it with pea and ham. I don't I would like too. pea and ham. I, I bet it's got you know, good flavor. It, again, I just pick, you know what? Just pick the split pea soup. Yeah. Because you know, that's my cruise philosophy. Let's yeah. just try it. Yeah, it's yeah, it even close to no, yeah. Neither of those really sound all that great to me. It's no risk. Yeah. Just some, try it. Some stuff that I've had on there before that maybe I wasn't like all that jazzed up about it when I was mm -hmm. reading the description on the menu yeah. and I tried it and I was like, oh my goodness, this is really, really yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. Just go yeah. with the cruise philosophy and you're like, you know what? I don't like this normally, but let's just try it. It's a great place Order it to for the try table anything. and just sample it. Yeah. Because the cooking there is so good too, it's going to mm -hmm. be one of the, the best ways you can have a different kind of food. Yeah, yeah and it's a great time to be adventurous. Mm -hmm. It is. The bread service is six grain Viking loaf with roasted Ooh, onion dip. Roasted yeah, onion that dip. that sounds good. That yes. sounds really yes. good. That sounds like one of those things that I might dream about when we get home. Oh, like, yeah. roasted onion dip. I will be absolutely inhaling that. I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> Already, already thinking about it. Yeah, how much I want to just stuff that in my mouth. Me too. <laughs> it sounds so good. And these entrees. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. No. 
King Agnar's yeah. dry rubbed roasted pork tenderloin with buttered chard. Is that how you say that? Yeah. Chard? Mm -hmm. Honey butternut oh. squash, Yukon gold potato puree, crisp shallots, oh my red goodness. currant pork wine reduction. That sounds, that sounds silly good. Absolutely yeah. awesome. Yeah. They yeah. have pan seared Chilean sea bass oh. with white asparagus, petite leeks, Savoy spinach, Romanesco peas, kohlrabi, rainbow carrots, seared scallops, yes. pea tendrils, and I don't know how to say it. Mead vinaigrette. Woo! Dude, sea bass is probably, I love fish, but sea bass is probably one of, if not my very yeah. favorite yeah. fish. I don't know if I could pass that up. Nope. Here comes somebody. Hi! Little girl. You want to hear the other option? The next option are braised meatballs with rosemary yes. cream reduction, so egg noodles, and lingonberry chutney. Oh my goodness, that sounds awesome too. That sounds really good. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Juniper spice roasted chicken breast with scallions, duck confit, hey. double fried potatoes, hey. yum, Ooh. estragon wild mushroom ragu, or Ooh. garlic and thyme roasted beef ribeye with double baked potato, buttered broccoli, yeah. sweet honeyed carrots, Ooh. or cabernet yeah. jus. That sounds really good too. Hey, yes. Hey, pop pop. But to me on that one, I think it's sea bass yeah. or sea bass. sea bass. And then sea bass I, I think we should try the braised meatballs. Order that for the table yeah. and let everybody take a bite because yeah. that sounds super good. And also different from anything I've I, ever had. Like I can't think of anything I've had that is like that. So I'd like to try it for that reason. Yeah. The me sea too. bass at Enchanted Garden is oh. one of all of our favorites. Yeah. And uh, if that's anything like it, then it's to die for. It yeah. is so good. It's if even if you don't like seafood, I would actually encourage you to try sea bass. It is extremely mild. It is a really like hearty fillet, very moist. Mm. It's not a dry fish at all. It's not a fishy fish. And so I think even for people who are kind of seafood averse, try sea bass. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a and or two if maybe you're a little hesitant about seafood. Sea bass is a great uh, way to kind of wade into it. Yeah. It is, that is a incredible fish. And Disney Cruise Line does sea bass just Perfect. better than anywhere I've Magnifique. ever had. Magnifique. Yes. Oh, vegetarian options. Mm -hmm. um, Queen Iduna's potato lefsa mm -hmm. uh, with That's marjoram nice. butter crust, heirloom carrots, spinach, celery yak, green and white asparagus, baby Brussels sprouts, leeks, aquavit, yarlsberg oh, green. Oh, that sounds Good. Or plant-based beef savoy cabbage, brown rice, carrots, celery, and dill yogurt drizzle. I dill saw a picture drizzle. of that, by the way. It, it was really beautiful. Really? Oh, yeah. You guys should look look up pictures of this. It that helps to know what you want. Beautiful. Yeah. To see when the photos. I, when I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness. And then they have those same lighter note offerings, except the lighter note specialty here is a seared salmon salad with fennel seed quinoa, Boston bib, oak leaf, spinach, endive lettuce, red cabbage, green onions, soft egg, cucumber, dill, whole grain mustard dressing, and honey biscuit streusel. That sounds, that has like a very, those those are very Norwegian kind of yeah. components in mm -hmm. my mind. Yeah, and it, I bet that would be delicious. Or Scandinavian. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of things I really like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd try it. Okay, their dessert menu sounded it, oh, also wow. stacked. Really good. So they have an apple cake with caramel sauce, vanilla bean ice cream, and Florentine almond crunch. They have a Norwegian pancake roulade, pancake with lingonberry jam. This is your place. Yes, I know. That's like one of those um, like Scandinavian or Nordic ingredients that yeah. we just never see here. That so is really good. We go so wild good. for it. Yeah. And it also comes with white chocolate cheesecake. Wow. And then they have a butter cake with baked almond meringue. I know. Vanilla please pronounce this. Vafjord <laughs> cake? Yeah. Vafjord cake. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that was good, you guys. With vanilla cream, butter cake, baked almond meringue, oh my vanilla goodness, cream, and very awesome. common. Something tells me that's going to be wildly good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Butter cake? Yes. Yes. The sundae is a mint chocolate chip ice cream with marshmallows, fresh whipped cream, and snowflakes. Okay. Ooh, fancy. Evangeline would like that. Yeah, she would. That's exactly what I was saying. I was like, that might have to be her dessert. Yes. 
And then the signature dessert is Troll Family's Rock Chocolate Bar. Mm. Chocolate cake with pistachio cookie rocks and elderflower meringue. Ooh, fancy. Elderflower meringue. That sounds good. Ooh, and then ooh. no sugar added citrus almond cake with lemon almond cake, buttermilk ice cream. Buttermilk ice cream, yum. And orange fennel salad. Interesting. Nice. This really is really nice menu. Yeah. Yes. Like top to bottom. That's really nice. I think so too. Man, Butter cake. I think that apple cake. I would have to try that. I love apple cake. I love, I, I, I always feel like it's always moist. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had a dry apple cake. And yeah. so I love the idea. Then caramel sauce. Yes. Extra yeah. caramel sauce. Mm. You know I'm going to go for that. I, get, I think I'm going to have to go with the butter cake and the signature dessert, the chocolate cake with the pistachio cookie rocks. Yeah. Caffeine cake. Man, I'm Caffeur telling cake. you. Yeah. 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 Cake. We're going. That's what it, that's how we're saying it. Yeah. The pancake roulade sounds really good too man i think this might be a multiple dessert One, two, night three. yeah i think it's and we have friends that do that travel with the twins check their channel out because they always order everything on the menu when they go which is you know what we'll just it's do it smart. we'll do it when we go so you can see everything well that's what i was thinking i was like i could order two george could order two and then we I can all share i like that idea yeah I like that idea. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break and then we're gonna come back for the Marvel Wet Want. Okie dokie. We're back after a small snack break. <laughs> for the July chip and dip break. <laughs> yes. So this is the Worlds of Marvel dinner restaurant. And there again, it's like dinner. Oh, sorry, Courtney, I'm cutting you off. Dinner and a show. <laughs> Get in here. <laughs> dinner and a show. Um, it's supposed to be really interactive. I haven't seen any full vlog experiences, but if you're a Marvel lover, this is going to be super cool. I'm curious if they're going to have any uh, special effects incorporated. I bet you that they will. It seems like, because to me and my little lizard brain, I have to make it seem like one of the last restaurants. I'm like, this is the new animator's palette. Mm. With screens on the wall, something interactive happening. Do they have screens on the wall here? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Are there cool. photos of the inside of the wet want yet? Yes. Let's see. Marvel restaurant Disney. Oh, you can. Can you pop those up? What ones? Like on the, for the viewers. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, very cool. Oh, neat. Very neat. Oh, wow, the light fixtures oh, are awesome. awesome. That's actually one thing I really love about Disney in general and Disney cruises is every single detail. It's like the carpet the light fixtures mm -hmm. the you know honestly like remember even how the like for a bread service at dinner when they bring when they bring it out in the one restaurant it has the cinderella carriage mm -hmm. it's everything's like this custom made. level of detail it's like the thing they bring the bread out in is themed to the restaurant. Yeah. They every make their, space you step into yes, is really it's like thought extremely, out. Extremely, cool. yeah, it's like every detail has been thought out, and I just love that about they it. They make custom linens for each what want. <laughs> yeah. You guys are all going to call it what wants now. It's better than saying restaurant. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I love she's like, what do you like? Yeah, she's taking your order. She's like, what could you want? And anything can be a little uh, no, pen no. and pad of paper. She's like, yeah. what do you like? <laughs> So it looks really cool. It looks really interactive. It's very kind of sci-fi looking. Mm -hmm. But do the menu slap. Let's, Let's see. see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, the appetizers, you can get smoked salmon with mineola, English cucumber. <laughs> There's a whole South, South Park episode about creme fraiche, yeah, yeah. dill, chive, salmon caviar. They have steamed bao buns with seared yes. ginger orange pork belly, oh toasted sesame seeds, Pickled daikon. Daikon? Which uh -huh. I don't know what that is. Spring onions, mirin soy honey glaze, hearts of palm ceviche, tamarillo, mm. sweet potato, purple onion, lime, cilantro, bell pepper, infinity stone, popcorn? What? Ooh, interesting. I bet you that means it's very brightly colored. I, I wonder if so it's got like a, like if they candied it in a way yes. to... Like oh, have a sheen to it, yeah. yeah and then cool. crispy breaded fried shrimp with white cheddar and corn grits, yep. Ooh, bell peppers, yes. collard greens, and smokehouse barbecue sauce. Decision made. Uh, Man, bao buns. Bao buns and fried shrimp. Me too. Me too. I want to see the palm ceviche, and just I just want to see it come by in, in the restaurant. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, I wanna, I'm curious about that Infinity Stone Timor popcorn. Me too. Wow. But, yeah, Balbun. This, I and love Balbuns. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know what? Balbuns are hard to come by. Yeah. At least, I, I feel like for, for, us, for us here, here I don't see them on menus mm -hmm. almost ever. They're hard to find. And so, yes, and I love Balbuns, and that sounds amazing. And you know, we love watching Michael K's cruise vlogs, and when he and his brother go on the the dream and the fantasy, and they go in Enchanted Garden, they order like three ahi tuna towers. That may be me with the bow buns. I think it comes with two, so I may go full Mike and just <laughs> yeah, order just, a bunch. Shout you're like, out Mike. I actually, yeah. I shout actually out Michael K. want an entree and bring me 16 bow buns, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's make this my entree. Okay, they have Wakandan salads and from the Sokovian kettle. So the salads are heirloom tomato salad with, Ooh. how do you say that? Escarole? Escarole. Escarole arugula, purple onion, black beans, blue and red corn chips, parsley, and bear slime. Interesting. Iceberg wedge with candied pecans, oh, smoked yes. bacon lardons, black and globe radish, and Maytag blue cheese. Uh, yes. Missed me with the blue cheese, but otherwise I like <laughs> and that. And iceberg wedge for sure for me. Yeah. Every single part of that. I, I really like blue cheese. Yeah. And Oh, uh, every part of that sounds so, so That's, yummy to me. Yeah. Two really nice salads. Yes, really good salads. and because I, I love heirloom tomatoes too. And normally mm -hmm. if I saw that in a restaurant around here, I'd be like, that heirloom tomato salad, I would have to try it. Yeah. But man, well, there's some, you know what? Double dip. Yeah. But there's some, I love a wedge. What is it? I do too. What is it about a wedge? I'm like, look, it's, it's, so it's, crisp it's a whole been refreshing. Yeah. It's, yeah. They didn't break up the lettuce. You know what? Um, <laughs> it, as like I that. Do that. Yeah. Uh, okay. As I a, break up the lettuce. How well, I <laughs> also, I think too, because you can, you know, when you slice it and you can get like a really satisfying layered bite. Yeah. yeah. And um, just at the risk of sounding like that creepy judge on Bob's Burgers, it has exquisite mouth feel. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It really like, does. It, it's so satisfying. Satisfying yeah. to crunch through, like, into twelve layers. Yeah. Of yes, it yes. is. It does have a really. It's very satisfying. It is. Yeah. That, that's why I. I think that's the, 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 just the satisfaction of a way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna just say that really creepily to you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. On board. I will expect that when I get my wedge in the Marvel wet wand. Okay. Does anyone know how to say this? I'm thinking this is a Marvel reference. I don't know. Cartofel. Yeah. Cartoffel soup. I'm sorry, I am way Marvel behind. Fans. I'm sorry. I'm way behind on my Marvel viewing. Yeah, I am too. I, but it's a cream potato soup with carrots, celery, knockwurst, and ooh, thyme. Ooh, interesting. Sounds good. Not, I don't think I've ever seen knockwurst in a soup before. I've never. That seen is very interesting. Period. And then a cream of porcini mushroom soup with sour cream, red beet, and lemon. That sounds great. Yes. He that likes sounds beet. Really yeah, good, I don't. Yeah. I beet some a little iffy on, but that. Oh, the I'll try cream it. of porcini mushroom soup, yes. And also, yep. again, cruise philosophy. Just try it. Just try it. Yeah. If you think you might like it, fire away. Mm -hmm. Yes. And even if you think you might not, yeah. if fire somebody away. gets yeah. it, just take it a bite. It is something just interesting and fun to do. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it gives you something fun to talk about at the table. Mm -hmm. um, the bread service sounds really good. It's a marble loaf with red bell pepper dipping sauce. Ooh, oh, yeah. red bell pepper dipping sauce. I like the idea of that a lot. I do. That sounds very good. I wonder, I wonder if it's like a hummus kind of texture. Me too. Yeah. And if it's sweet or if they've made it salty. Mm. Or like, because red pepper can also go kind of spicy. Yeah, yeah. it can. Okay, this is they, this is a solid menu. This is the one I was most worried about if I was mm -hmm. gonna be honest, but it's pretty stacked. And the entrees look good. So man, this I, I'm bear bear spiced berberry sorry, spiced pork chop with Wakandan vegetable pillow. Pilo, pomegranate, red pepper sauce, rainbow chard, and roasted scallion. Chicken schnitzel, panko crusted chicken breast, butter sauteed potatoes, caramelized onions, mm. oh, long wow. green beans, lemon, anchovy, and capers. Mm. Yum. Seared Sorry, turbo fillet. Google thanks for talking to her. Seared turbo fillet, sweet peat puree, roasted heirloom carrots. Heirloom oh, carrots. I know. I don't mm. know. What, I have not what heard of an heirloom like? carrot before, but I'm curious. Yeah. I need to look that up afterwards. We do. I wonder if it's like all the little purple and orange and. That's what I wonder yeah, if it's like white. multicolored yeah. carrots or maybe it's like a weird. You know how heirloom tomatoes yeah, usually are, are like uh, 
odd shapes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rigid, like they've got the ridges and things in them. I can tell you, mom will probably find out she loves carrots. Yeah. And it has pancetta and tarragon sandifjord sauce, golden mystic pasta, <gasps> yeah, oh, caramelized yeah. scallops, angel hair, chardonnay, lemon saffron cream, roasted vine tomatoes, Savoy spinach. Yes. Wow. Oh, Delmonico ribeye steak with black truffle butter, whipped Yukon gold potatoes, green asparagus, Cabernet reduction, and for our vegetarians, Ricotta yes. gnocchi, fontina cheese, caramelized grape tomato confit. How do you say that? Broccoli, broccoli rob. Mm-hmm. Arugula pesto. Yum. That, okay, this is the vegetarian dish. This one specifically, when I saw that, I thought that God actually tried. sounds like mm-hmm. I might want to order. That's, that sounded phenomenal. And I saw the next one and thought I wanted it. Yeah. Shiitake and tofu udon. Udon oh, noodles. I love udon. I do too. Baby bok choy, tofu, red onions, kombu, enoki mushrooms, miso shiitake broth. That sounds Ooh. really good. And that sounds the, phenomenal. The special lighter note offering is a lamb shawarma salad, slow roasted cumin spiced pulled lamb leg and mini pitas with iceberg on deep romaine lettuce, sumac onions, vine tomatoes, pickled red cabbage, roasted chickpeas, cucumber, and lemon yogurt dressing. And I know a lot of people love shawarma from the magic, so. Or from DCA. They have the shawarma palace there, which I'm really excited about trying. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I haven't been on the magic since they've had shawarma, but everyone loves it. Mm. Um, I'm going with the golden mystic pasta. Yes. Pasta with scallops. That'd probably yes, be a that pasta night. That sounds so good. I love scallops and yeah. uh, caramelized scallops. Yes. And especially with the creamy pasta dish. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that just really complements it well. You know what? I feel like this would be, the, this is like Animator's Palette, like I said, in my mind. This would be a great first night mm-hmm. to kick off with like just a really fun, oh, it, yeah. immersive experience and then have a yeah, heavy it's, pasta. Because this day. sounds like a very high energy restaurant to Yes. Me. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? That would be the perfect like, night one. 1923 to me is like Royal Palace yes. Yes. or Triton's or elegant. Lumiere's. Yes. Yeah, where it's very elegant and good then this is yeah. like very high energy. Yeah. So this. I agree. This yeah, would be this a would be fun first night. First night you sure. guys are both mm-hmm. thinking the golden mystic pasta. Yes, but I also want to try that ricotta and gnocchi. Me too. And yeah. I want to try the chicken schnitzel. Yeah. Panko crusted chicken breast, butter, potatoes, caramelized onions. 86 mm-hmm. those capers. The, and I'm on board. Yeah. The ribeye steak with the black truffle butter. That I sounds know. really good. I'm like, black <laughs> truffle I'm butter. I'm like, will you put yes. some of that black truffle butter on the side of my bread? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds Ooh. awesome. Oh, man, man, that is a good, and That's their, good. Oh, dude, yeah. their the dessert menu here is out of control, mm-hmm. sounding delicious. And up first is one of all of our favorites, oh. subatomic sticky date pudding, salted coconut macaroon, balsamic caramel glaze, vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. And we love sticky date pudding. Okay. And I know probably a lot of you are thinking what I would have been thinking before I tried this. It's like, I'm not really, I like dates okay. It's mm-hmm. not anything I'm going to go out of my way to have. And a sticky date pudding, I would not be tempted by. We didn't try it for the longest. Yeah. But, oh my goodness. It is so, it's very caramely. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like a it's caramel cake. It's sweet. It's salty super too. moist. Yeah, and it's salty. Sweet and salty. It's and cold and warm. Has good texture. Oh, it's it is great. so good. Mouthful. You yeah. will, it has exquisite mouthfeel. <laughs> it it's yes. really good. It is so good. It's so please. Don't if you scared. go on a Disney cruise and you see sticky date pudding, yeah. try it. Yeah. You will not regret it. Yeah. And if you do, just order another dessert. <laughs> yeah, it, you won't regret it. You it won't. Is, it when I saw it was on so this menu, good. I was like squealing. Mm. Yes. But also, that's not all. They have quantum key lime pie with key lime curd, mm-hmm. raspberry gel, and whipped lime ganache. Oh, I love that idea. I'm like, mm-hmm. whipped lime ganache. I'm curious what the texture of that would be like. Yeah, and if it's ganache, it's me. Yeah, yes. sometimes a key lime pie is just what you want to So yes. refreshing, yeah. yeah. And then they have a nano dobos torta, mm-hmm. layered cake, rich chocolate truffle cream, and caramel. And yes. this, I believe, is what I saw the photo of and it made my mouth water. Mm. It looked amazing. That sounds phenomenal. Truffle, yes. chocolate truffle cream. How could too. you possibly go wrong with I know. that? I, know. I mean, there's just no going wrong with that. Whenever they ask me what I want to drink at night, I'm gonna be like, well, just like mix a little water in with that 
<laughs> or maybe don't even mix no, any in. What are you talking about? Just take yes. the chocolate truffle cream straight yeah. to the dough. Yes. Yeah, give me a straw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The ice cream sundae is the Pim Donut Sundae, Dulce de Leche ice cream, pecan brownie, caramel fudge mm -hmm. sauce, and a chocolate glazed mini donut with whipped cream. Wow. Deluxe. That sounds good. That sounds yes. good. The signature dessert is a cheesecake bite with fresh berries, strawberry jelly, and whipped cream. Mm. The no sugar added is Wakanda flourless chocolate beetroot cake. Chocolate beetroot cake with peppermint creme and milk chocolate pepper soil. Creme. Oh, sorry. Pepper creme. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Peppermint? Uh-huh. Wishful would thinking. Probably but that would make good, sense. good, but on a night where all these other good desserts are available, you got to go with one of yeah, those. Yeah. I mean, and you're on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to live it up. I have a hot take and i'm i hesitate saying it but don't say the beetroot cake no it's not that i'm i'm getting <laughs> the torta and the date pudding but here's the thing the signature dessert is cheesecake but whenever i've gotten cheesecake on the disney cruise in the past it doesn't scratch my cheesecake itch like i it's wanted more, to it doesn't have the same consistency of what i think about as being cheesecake mm -hmm. like i think right. about cheesecake as being very creamy yeah. and theirs are much more Cakey. crumbly yeah yeah, yeah. Um, it's more of like a crumble so. i've been a little disappointed with cheesecake there in the past i would yeah. agree with that but i mean sticky date pudding key lime pie torta yes yeah you can find something i'm that never like hungry at dessert, dessert and i'm never disappointed sounds with so and that good sundae, that sunday yeah, ice cream that yeah. sounds phenomenal that sounds good. yeah now this is gonna be what we were like just bring one of each of those and maybe two of some yeah. and we're all just gonna have to take bites because yeah. I, that is that's what I want door. yeah that sounds phenomenal thank you guys for joining me thanks for having me thank you guys for watching yes. special thank you to our live chat group who's here with us um we're going on the wish and so we will be documenting all of this but like I said Play along with us comment your order yes, is tell us what your order is yeah. and also if you've been please tell us things yes. to try like hey don't sleep on trying this yeah you gotta get this prove Please me let wrong us know. about the cheesecake yeah okay we love you guys bye